a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Cave-In Cave-In is an American rock band that formed in 1995, in Methuen, Massachusetts. After several members' changes in the late 1990s, their lineup solidified with the 1998 release of Until Your Heart Stops through Hydra Head Records. Their early albums were prominent in the metalcore scene. After this release, the band started experimenting with other genres. Caven later received mainstream recognition for their 2003 RCA Records album Antenna and its lead single, Anchor, which had an overall alternative rock style. The group went on hiatus in 2006 and later reformed in 2009 with the release of a new EP, Planets of Old, as well as a new LP in 2011, titled White Silence. Both of these post-hiatus releases saw a return to Cave-In's earlier and heavier sound. Formation and early releases, 1995-1998 Cave-In was formed by Jay Frechette and Stephen Brodsky in early 1995. They named themselves Cave-In as a homage to the Codeine song, Cave-In, from the album Frigid Stars. The initial lineup consisted of Frechette on vocals, Brodsky on guitar and vocals, Adam McGraw on second guitar, Junior Connors on drums and Justin Mathis on bass. They would soon release a demo and a handful of Split 7, releases with bands such as Gambit, Piebald and Early Grace, and C. Mathis briefly replaced by Andy Kite. 1997 saw Cave-In's first release, a self-titled 7, on Aaron Turner's Hydra Head Records. Following that release, the band embarked on a three-week East Coast tour. That tour was, however, cut a week short due to Jay Freshett's prior obligations to join and tour with Boston-based Ten Yard Fight. After Freshett returned from a month on tour with Ten Yard Fight it was a mutual decision for him to leave Cave In and to join Ten Yard Fight full-time. At this point, Dave Scrod stepped in for a short-lived tenure as interim vocalist. In 1998, most tracks from previous seven releases and recordings were compiled to form Beyond Hypothermia. Until Your Heart Stops and Jupiter, 1998-2002. Two weeks before the band was to record their first proper full-length, Scrod left the band, pushing guitarist Stephen Brodsky to a position as vocalist, and Caleb Schofield filled in the then-vacant position on bass. Their debut studio album, 1998's Until Your Heart Stops, featured Brodsky as lead vocalist. The album's release was followed by extensive touring. Before their next full length, Cave-In began experimenting with their sound offering Creative Eclipses, a five-song EP which indicated a space rock direction the band would then pursue for several years, as opposed to their metal roots. Then, in 2000, they released Jupiter, receiving a good deal of press. The band was featured in Spin Magazine's Sound Advice section, where their new sound was described as emo metal radiohead, though the band themselves rejected this categorization. Jupiter also caught the attention of major labels, who began courting the band after its release. The band released a final six-song EP for Hydra Head titled Tides of Tomorrow, with an even further expanded melodic approach, before moving on to RCA Records. RCA Records and Antenna, 2003-2004 In 2003, the band released Antenna, their debut for RCA. Antenna had more success than previous albums and Cave-In was chosen to play the second stage on the 2003 Lollapalooza tour. After Lollapalooza, Cave-In toured Europe in support of the Foo Fighters and Muse. Shortly after, the band began to revisit their metal roots during concerts and new heavy material led to a mutual agreement to cut ties with RCA Records shortly after. Perfect Pitch Black and Hiatus, 2005-2006 Cave-In returned to Hydra Head Records and released Perfect Pitch Black on September 13, 2005. Following the release of Perfect Pitch Black, Connors departed from the band due to an injury and temporarily relocating to Germany and was replaced by Converge drummer Ben Collar. According to postings on Hydra Head Records website news, Adam McGrath was temporarily listed as ex-Cave-In guitarist in his new band Clouds. In November 2006, Cave-In announced that they were officially on hiatus. 
Reformation, Planets of Old and White Silence, 2009 Present. In April 2009, Cave-In publicly announced they had ended their more than three-year hiatus. The band recorded a new four-song EP, Planets of Old, that was originally exclusive to vinyl from Hydra Head Records, and first made available at their reunion show on July 19, 2009, at Great Scott's in Alston, Massachusetts. The EP was later released on CD in January 2010 with a bonus DVD of Cave-In's reunion show. Two songs, from the EP, Retina Seas Rewind, and, Came in Tongue, were released through iTunes. Cave and chose, to make Planets of Old a short EP instead of a full length, because it was less expensive and faster to record and release. Commenting on the duration of recording, Steve Brodsky stated, We didn't really want to make a big deal out of it. In the past, we've had more, than a couple instances of spending far too long into making a recording, it was a good exercise for us, to give ourselves a very strict amount of time to record and then move on. Looking forward, Brodsky announced in a January 2010 interview that Cave-In will be more selective about their touring schedule, and that future releases, from the band might be more focused on a digital medium. Brodsky uploaded a live audio recording of a new song titled, Centered, in July 2010 on YouTube. The song comes from Cave-In's recording sessions for an upcoming studio album, and first since 2005's Perfect Pitch Black. The aforementioned album, entitled White Silence, was released on May 24, 2011 through Hydra Head Records. Shortly after tours in support of White Silence, Cave-In entered an undeclared hiatus state as all of the band members shifted focus on their other respective projects. On December 7, 2014, Caven performed live for the first time in three years, opening for Doom Rider's 10th anniversary show. On March 28, 2018, Schofield died in a car accident after striking a toll booth in Bedford, New Hampshire. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?